Hello you lovely people, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we're going to look into the 27th of, uh, 27th of September 2022 and uh, we're going to check what the day has to offer to us through, uh, through the eyes of Taro and uh, if you are interested in having a personal reading with me or uh, if you do want to take my classes you can check out the description down below there you're going to find a link to uh, my website in which you can find pretty much everything uh, you will need about either of those things so with that said uh, let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we have uh, the first card for the uh, 27th of uh, September uh, that's going to be the four of wands uh, followed by the second card here which uh, stands as uh, the three of swords and uh, the final card for the day that's going to be the ten of wands right so uh, those three cards it is uh, how we have it for the day itself those three and uh, this uh, this is going to be a pretty sobering day so to speak uh, in a sense of that, that particular day uh, we are going to come to realize what actually is going to take in order to finish one thing or another. We are actually going to realize what is going to, not just only what is going to take, but what must be done. That is what I was uh, trying to say and searching into uh, for an expression here. Because in, in Tuesday, uh, 27th of September, uh, many of us, if not all of us, we are going to be on, uh, so to speak, almost at the finish line, okay? And uh, when we are finding ourselves at that finish line, we are going to come to uh, realize that the journey is just be is just beginning you know reaching that finish line we have bestowed upon ourselves whether uh, as a plan into our uh, career or as a plan into our relationships it is just one thing that is going to lead to another and that another thing it's going to happen to be very very demanding so um it will be completely normal uh, for either of us to have a negative thoughts at that particular time it's going to be very normal for you to think that what if i fail what if i'm not good enough right what if i i don't have what it takes uh what will you do <laughs> that's that's the beauty of having the ten of wands there and in fact uh, i uh, rarely see that combo um, probably i saw it once or twice um in my career the three of swords and the ten of wands although they are not primary cards they kind of like speak for a uh a, 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 a submerge or rather like a dormant tenacity of us the harder it is the more ambitious we will become the harder it is the bigger rewards at the end and uh we have to uh, the, the reason for the day itself and, and how those cards are setting up it is that we have a unique opportunity in tuesday to uh finalize important cycles of development whether that is a development a development of a project development of interactions where they grow into whether friendship whether intimate relationship whether business partnership you know developments within our family as well so we, we can finalize them but they are going to uh, how can I put it into words? Their results are going to be a new call for developments that we will have to answer. We're not going to have a choice, right? They will just going to consume us and we will have to keep up with the demand of those activities. So again, it, uh, the reason for having that in Tuesday is so many of us answer to themselves, is that what you really want? Because think it that way uh you may want to be at a specific job so much you know uh but once you get it can you perform on it that is a question that you need to ask because if you fail there is not going to have you are not going to have a second chance according to these cards you're not going to fail but are you going to keep up with the stress the tension because it will be like i said a very 
very demanding. So it's a good day that we should answer ourselves, do we want a peaceful life or do we want successful life? We cannot have both in the upcoming few weeks, few months, maybe as well few years. And so with that said, that is uh, the daily guidance. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, when it comes to business, next, uh, these cards are showing that we may kind of like get ahead of ourselves, right? In a sense of that we may end up striking whether a deal or, 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 or manifesting a project that we are not entirely prepared for. And it's kind of like we'll have to catch up on the second gear, being on the second gear, that is. But if we kind of like once again keep up with the demands, we will be able to catch up. Now, when it comes to relationships, uh, that is exactly what I said um, uh, into the overview of the reading is that throughout the, the this particular day, there will be a major accomplishment if we strive for it in terms of a relationship that afterwards we may kind of like batter ourselves. Are we good enough to sustain it? So. If you do decide to manifest that accomplishment, whether into your business or whether into your relationship, guys, do not doubt yourself. Now, doubt is something that can bring you down. And so, yeah, that, that is uh, the Daily Tarot Guidance. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.